What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. This one is a big one. All right. All right. Listen, wait, wait. No, let them know, bro, because it's about to get see. I'm nervous as well. But it's a big episode. Yeah, you should be nervous, bro. Hey, don't tell me to be nervous, fam. Let me say what my emotion is, bro. I'm, right, I'm cool. There's nerves. The theme, the theme for you is keep the same energy. That's all I say. But why though? <laughs> why are you starting so like like that? Listen, when bro. I, when I said on this podcast, who's yeah, our sponsor, man? You're doing this, bro. You're talking. Who's our sponsor, fam? Shouts out to the Sterling Sports London. Obviously, don't know. But, but let's go. Let's go back here. Yeah? When I was on this pod and yeah? I said, I know my dog. Yeah, come on, he's here. Man like AY, come on, let them know, bro. Lions. He's here. Lions. Lions in the camp. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I, I, I'm discombobulated. The My headphones, headphones are out. They fell out, fam. His legs, his legs are gone. It's wait, only wait, the first wait, round, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what, yeah? I don't know where to, because it's mad where to start. Because we can start at the beginning, or we can, do we overlook what I've said in the past? And then get work our way there. Let's let's build. Let's build to that. Let's build. We got time. I said what I said. <laughs> Same what I, said man. I said what I said because he's here, in it? And you lot will watch this and say, "Yo," but then it's mad. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll there. get there, bro. It's thank mad. you for coming through, man. Brother, oh, gee. no T four, T four, T four, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that properly, fam. All right, listen, bro. Let's just start from the beginning. How uh, again? Your big character. We there, it's like we kind of know you, mm. but we don't truly know you. So today, this is what it's all about. Facts, it's getting man. to know Anthony Yard, man. So how are you, though, bro? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm well, man. I'm well, man. Glad you're here, man. Glad you're here. Me too, man. It's glad, I'm good to be here. Glad to be here. You know, is my journey's been it's been mad. Mm. So I've known, known Travis for a minute, and um, yeah, my, I'm literally a boy from East London. Mm. Came up the hard way. Yeah. No, like, um, Olympics, no GP, GB back in. Um, I wanted to go that route initially. You know, every boxer wants to fight. Oh, so did you always know that you was going to box? Like, when was the moment where you said, you know what, I want to be a boxer? What was that moment? It was late. So I started boxing properly when I was, like, 18. Okay. Um, so got in a oh. boxing gym, seriously, just before my, um, my 19th birthday. And um, that's when I literally changed my life around. I said, I'm going to do this thing properly. It, was there a specific thing that led you to that? Like, because no one is what you just walking past the gym, like, raw boxing. Like, is it a thing where man was like fighting on the roads and man they were like, raw, like, you could take this professionally, you know? Like, no, you know, it's when I was growing up, yeah, I was known as that the person that I was like, oh, yo, that's like, you can, you can hit. Mm. I was never like a troublemaker or nothing, but I grew up in like Stratford and Forest Gate. I was born in Hackney and then Stratford and Forest Gate, like, where I had my like my teenage years and my like my puppy years. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they got to the to the age of like, 13, I see the first person I see get stabbed. You know wow. what I'm saying? I see someone get bored up. And then it's carried on from there. I grew up in Stratford. And when I got to like 15, 16, I moved to Gate, first Gate. Mm -hmm. That's when it, I started learning about shooting. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the natural progression. Come a bit closer to the mic. Yeah. Close to the mic. <laughs> so like the two different, I won't mention uh, the area that first Gate had beef with at the time. Mm. But I knew people from that area as well. So then they were going back and forth, back and forth. And the people I knew was getting caught up in it, et cetera. And then um, I said to my mum, this when I was like 14, 15, I said, mum, I want to like go to a boxing thing. So mm. I, was, I, was just, I thought I discovered Matt Tyson. Yeah, yeah, All yeah, I saw yeah. was this small guy looking at me. You know <laughs> yeah. That's all I saw. I didn't know enough about no weight classes. So I kept asking my mum saying, can I go boxing? She was like, no, it's dangerous. Don't want you boxing. And then a boy on my estate got brought up that she knew. Okay. So I won't mention his name. Mm. And I was like, see, this is why I want to go boxing because people keep getting jacked. Like, robbed. Yeah. In um, that's how McDonald's or whatever. Keep, people keep coming to the school. I want them to fight. She like no, no, no. Anyway, she ended up taking me to a boxing um, gym. I was like 14, 15, but she said I can't. She don't want me in the ring fighting. She okay, just like learning, a boxer uh, size just thing. in there learning. Yeah, 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 yeah. She don't want me learning, but she don't want me fighting. You know, mother's protection, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then this guy did not listen because when I was hitting the pads, and that, <laughs> he said, said no. Nah. This is like. Like, I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. I've not seen this like yeah. fast you, you can hit. So he goes, Oh, I want to spar this boy. I'm shitting myself. I'm shook. I spar this boy for like 17, 18, punch him up. 
Like, on an aggressive thing, just, yeah, I'm trying to copy Mike Tyson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this guy keeps going, just jabbing me. Mm. Forehead is all right. <laughs> <laughs> In my forehead, so I'm like, I'm getting mad. So I just start swinging. And then obviously the coaches saw something, so then they went back to report to my mum. My mum was like, he's not coming back. Like, you're not disrespecting me, et cetera. Wait, yeah. how long? When did this spot? Wait, did they give you this day, spot? Is this day like, one? First Early. Thing, first thing. They're, first taking the first thing. <laughs> They're taking the liberty. They're taking the liberty. That man said, no, no, glove up, glove up. This ain't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you must have been going crazy on the heavy bag. First thing, yeah, bag. And then, cause obviously, I was mimicking Matt Tyson. Of course, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm there doing the. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pivoting around the bag. <laughs> And I was like, like, you sure you never boxed before? I was like, no, no, no. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? So, it's good, man. All right, so then, so you 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 had that moment, and then is Mumsy like, when did you have to plead your case? Like, bro, no, like, like, how'd you get her approval to take it seriously? You know, it is. This is why I said when I was 18, I started taking it serious because I was playing football. Mm. So I was going back and forth, like, playing um, football. You know how they say the injury? Yeah. Are you dead? Are oh, the, you, oh, yeah, the knee, the ACL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, are you dead, though? Because, huh? wait, are you dead? Be real, be real. Oh, As a I'll footballer, put, like. Season, like cool. What if, position were you playing? Position, 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 position. Position. No, no, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you. Striker. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Top goal scorer from Mr. Salford, under 18. Exactly. Are you both winning? Are you both winning? Nah, when you've got when you've got some stats that's nailed on paper, yeah, yeah, it's different. Top up both feet. Nah, but listen, this is my credentials, yeah? So I played Bishop Salford on the yeah. 18s, top oh. goal scorer. Oh, right, you actually, yeah, exactly. He was playing ball, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I've heard this story before. This is, every no. man has this story. No, but they, they don't go into detail, though. Yeah, but in, like, okay. it was quick as well, because I started playing football late. I used to play basketball in school. I'm one of, I was like all rounded. Okay. Good at mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I went, I done, I ran for Tessa Sanderson Academy, doing 100 meter sprints and 200 meters. Yeah, I could see that. And then, um, yeah, when I started playing football, it all happened quick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So again, I went Bishop Salford. And um, I got charged for Tumbridge Wars, got in. Yeah. And I played one game. I came on as a sub. My first five minutes, I banged in a goal. <clears throat> QPR scout was there. Got char- um, charged for QPR. In the QPR game, I got Bro. a mad injury. This is yeah. on this space. Okay, like hold on. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is see, different. Yeah, this, this is, is different. different. So wait, this, this is ain't a kill- standard. You see this team? Wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, you, I'll drop the bomb here, but it's, I'm going I'm to put the volume down as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't know if it's I, I wouldn't because it's That's a better story. It's a tentative book. This because is a detailed story. I don't know how. So everywhere you go, yeah, there's someone there that's like, we need to come through, take it to the highest level. In boxing, <laughs> they said, "Yo, highest level." Sparring on day one. Men, men playing football, they said, "Sign him up." <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? So what? Nah, natural ability. Natural hey, okay, ability. I got to ask. What was the injury? What's the detail of the injury? Um, you know, it hasn't. It's had no effect in boxing. But I tore like a hip muscle and I broke my big toe. Oh, they're okay. hating. Yeah, I said they're hating. Hate my guy. Oh, man. <laughs> You're I, an every, idiot. Hate's everyone's guy on this hey show, bro. Hey, hey's no, hey. Do you know what's mad, yeah? I say mad things, in it, Yeah. Hey, you know you came to watch us perform? Fabi said, yeah, you're really good, like. He you showed you love, but you stay, stay better in the toting. thing. Because I'm me. No, it's funny, though. It's funny. Mix up thing, yeah. Even him, you probably he loves it. it. He loves it. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's the best performance I've ever seen. He's doing things I've never seen. doing things I've never seen. He's I've never heard before. <laughs> All right, cool. So we 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 crossed over. So then, when is that moment? So now, like, okay, you're taking it serious. So again, when I was like 18, um, again the football team. Again, I went off on a stay, bad stay path. A bit closer to that. So yeah. I, went, I went off on a bad path for a bit. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, when you're young, you think the world's against you. Where you grow up as well, what you're surrounded by, what you see. I just I remember when I was young. I didn't even go to college. Mm. When I was in school, I had one. I always like thought for myself. Yeah, mm. like, had my own brain. That's even more parts of like lines and the camp comes from. Cause I've never followed nobody. Mm. When some of my boys went off in gangs, I was like, "You man, do your thing." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. some of my boys went off doing drugs and that. I said, "You man, do your thing." Obviously, I went off into the wrong things eventually. When I saw like no no other option at, at, at a particular time, mm. but I've always like when I was <clears throat> when I was in school, I said to my mom, "I'm not going to college." She was like, "Why?" I said, because I want to be a millionaire. <laughs> I said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I said, I want to be a millionaire. Uh, yeah. I want to either run businesses or I want to be some sort of athlete. I want to be a musician. Okay. I want to do something where I'm making M's. My mom was like, all right, cool, fair enough. <laughs> really? That's what I'm saying. That's why, I, even because I, I, I mentor like some children, yeah. And a lot of the time, it's their parents. That, mm. You know what I'm saying? You know exactly that. Like, yep. Especially black parents, Indian yeah. parents, like culture, cultural people. They got a thing on their children. 
yeah. have to do what I say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it limits their mind because a lot of kids are geniuses, don't even know. Do you know yeah. what it is? It's, it's that thing where they, they're preparing them for, like, to survive. 100%. Like at the yeah, base, yeah. be able to pay your bills. And yeah. it kind of limits when the dream is way but bigger you know what than that. that. Does? It, it can hinder children. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Them. You know, I like agree. Flatting, you know, when you put the lid on and the flash yeah. it's gone. Mm. It's the same kind of thing because it's your installing fear into your child. Anyway, that's kind of enough for talking. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. No, but it's a deep no, but one, that's real, though. This that's is what real. we, again, this will go anywhere, man. And that's, li- that's the whole point of the thing. It's like, it's the barbershop. It's a life so, convo, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's a life, it's more of a life convo mm. with the boxing in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just want to get to know the fighter. Really, mm. I think that's what's missing in boxing. Yeah, yeah, when, I'm, sorry, when I'm mentoring these kids now, I always say to them, look, Sometimes you have to have a tough conversation with your parents. <sighs> just say to them what you want to do. It might not work, but guess what? What if it does work? That's right. <laughs> and that's what I said to my mom. When I said I want to take boxing serious, she was like, Andy, like, come on, you think you're good at so many things. Dude. I said, like, Mom, let's think about this boxing thing. I said, Mom, like, come on. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I was man that on the road side. <laughs> no, but I was, I was never into beef, as I said, but when yeah. you go up in first gate, you get attacked a lot. Yeah. Like, when, mm. when I was growing up, there was, I won't name the race, but there was a certain type of man that was drunk every weekend that would just try it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was yeah. known that person at right, cool. If my aunt touches a man, he's got to sleep. Mm. So that's even how, when some of my boy was like, bro, you need to, and I had this football team. Like, I'm trying to get fit again to go football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to go boxing because I've seen it. <laughs> that's I've real. Seen it. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so obviously, um, Tony Cisse, your amateur TC. coach. Yes. How did that? How did that relationship come about? And again, that's when I started taking it seriously. So my boy Stephen Anderson, who runs Box Up Crime, who that's all mentor kids or whatever. Okay. He was like, oh, <clears throat> he was going through his transition as well at the time. Mm. He was in, involved in whatever he was involved in, and um, he had these. He's got his mad testimony as well because the day he decided to say, "I'm going to stay in a boxing gym," and he called me as well before, and he was like, "Oh, I'm tired, man. My boys are going out." I'm feeling to go as well. Mm. Like, oh, come man, you told me come to the gym. Like we said, we're gonna train every day this week. Let's go. Like you're talking about raving. We can rave on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Cool. So he listens to me now. He comes to gym. He, he and then someone calls me. Rushes out the gym now, and then obviously he leaves. I'm calling cool, him. What's wrong? What's wrong? He's not answering the phone. Comes to gym like a week later. Comes with a newspaper. He's like, and he's all crying and that. He's like, bro, did you not say I was going raving? This is who I was going with. Three boys kill for murder. And he was going to be in that same card, you get what I'm saying? So this is it. it's all part of that. Yeah. Listening to your intuition. He calls this you for a it. reason. And if he calls someone, not someone else might have been like, I'll go and enjoy yourself. Mm. I was that person saying, bro, if you don't come to gym, don't chat to me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, we had this conversation that like, I can't. Like, and all that kind of stuff. Like, you're fat. Like, get to the gym. <laughs> that, was a, that was the plan. Yeah. 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 You know no, it's real. It's real. And then, yeah, he changed his life around. He's there. He's got like, I think he. I don't know how many gyms, like four or five gyms now. He's doing his thing. And then uh, that's when I had my similar thing as well. So that's what I mean in becoming so close. Yeah. I'm a very godly person. I'm not religious. Mm. But when it comes to like my beliefs in God and again, the higher power, whatever people want to call it. I call it God. Some people call it the universe, but it's a higher power. And, yeah, 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 yeah. My thing is, it's always God first. And God talks to you through your intuition. Absolutely. 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 You know Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Got their beliefs. And again, I'm um, like my boy, I was just talking about, he's, very, he's a Christian. Yeah. I'm a Muslim friend as well. But I see us as well. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sides, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. No, it's real, and it's, it's real. It's like when when we start to hear the stories, like man, them coming from the roads and just different type of lifestyles and finding a way into professional sports. It's like people kind of sleep on the discipline that's required. <laughs> you don't have time to maintain anything else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you pay the price, literally. Yeah. So it's like that transition from that life and turning your back on it. Like it's underrated of how difficult that actually is. Because obviously people would look at it from the outside and say, oh, you're a part of gangs, like da, da, da. But it's like, no, these are my friends. It's yeah. just years deep it's just friendship. A, it's just a man them. Yeah. Just, so let's let's move on then. We move on. Because your personality, yeah, out of all, like, a lot of boxers is very serious. Yeah? Mm. They're not joking, they're lying. I, they're, they're, not, <laughs> they're lying to me. Listen, I'm telling you now. Bro, you're not lying. <laughs> No, but I, I get frazzled. Sometimes I'll be, I'll be looking at, I'll be watching the videos and like in the gym, yeah, and it is, is, is vibes. Yeah, it's it's the music's Mashubzin. playing. He's having Every, fun. Yeah, Mashubzin, Mashubzin. Bro, what? Yeah, yeah. Bro, the way you put man onto sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> after, maybe like after the fight, straight to sheesh. Yeah, 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 I'm like, <laughs> this guy just enjoying his life. <laughs> you got a steak. <laughs> <laughs> couple burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Chicken, boneless chicken fries. Boneless, yeah. Very yeah. essential. Essential. You know what I'm saying? You've got to mix it up, man. Everything, bro. No, but the, again, 
it's the fun it's the fun energy because like you look at the other guys and it's like your division right these men are looking cerebral like you got what's it's very serious very <laughs> serious Even, like craig riches these guys are very much like apex trying to mindset and there's you it's just like <laughs> vibes you know why though because people and this goes for everyone in life here a lot of people only show their highlights mm. everyone's human yeah i like to show my 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 fun parts I'm in the gym, like people that come to the gym and see me train, yeah, they're like, bro, you're, a, you're not human. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've heard this time and time again, because I'm I'm working my ass off. Yeah, I might put in a little video at the end of my session. Yeah. I want to get I want to leave the gym with my vibrations high. You mm. know what I'm saying? I want to, yeah, when I go home, I might be there, yeah, tired or whatever. But yeah, I enjoy my training. I, like, I enjoy what I do. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I love this. Yeah. Like when you start on the podcast, whatever, you when I'm busting joking, like you're not here doing weather reports and <laughs> you, know, you understand what I'm saying? Though? Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're doing something you love. Mm. So I me, mean, there's times where my, my, my coach would be like, bro, like you, you've been putting in relax today, yeah. taking a little day off to get recovery. I'm like, nah, you're a, jo- you're a joker. I'm coming gym. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. if I'm at home, what am I doing at home? I want to watch TV. I hear it. I would even come gym sometimes and just like maybe shadow box or just walk around. I'm there, I'm enjoying myself, bring a bit of energy to the gym. Put on the music. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure everyone's for the vibe, like enjoying the Yeah, yeah. So like, like just looking at your your amateur career, because that's when things got serious. Like mm-hmm. you and Tony C say, like, what was that relationship like? It was, it was again. One thing I can say about Tony is I had this this obsession with hard work, mm. and he showed me another level of it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I used to think like me and Tony used to we never ever had an argument. But we used to have a lot of disagreements. Okay. At the time he told me to relax, I will carry on. He'd be like, oh, he's thinking, oh, right, son. You learn, son. You learn, son. You learn, son. I'm telling you, you're not listening, son. <laughs> and then there's a time when he's like to me, push it. And I'm like, Tony, I'm tired, bro. My, my, my muscles are cramping. Look at my leg. It's twitch, twitch, twitching. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, all right, then, son. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's how he sounds as well. Yeah. 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 Sprints. Yeah, that's everyone that knows Tony. Yeah. He's lying. Like, you, I was mid-fight, yeah? And this guy started drinking my water. I didn't, he didn't see me do my sprints. I said, Tony, I've done my sprints. Nah, nah. That's a, that's I said, a, that's give me the water. That's like, crazy. Mid, that's, no, mid that's not the time for the lessons said, still. I was like, I was like, bruv, give me my water. <laughs> and he's like, drink my water. And he's like, I told you to do your sprints, son. And he's like, I was laughing. And like, yeah. Next round, obviously, that got me. I got imagined. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. the guy next round and that. But we, we laugh about these kind of things. Yeah. yeah. The building blocks to being a better fighter. Yeah, yeah, saying? yeah. And getting, and get, and gaining that mentality. Mm. Of when you're in there, you're meant to enjoy it. Did no, you always did you always feel at a disadvantage? Because obviously you haven't got yeah. the solid amateur yeah. ped- yeah. in terms of amateur yeah. background, yeah. and you know you got all the others in the game that you're looking at that mm-hmm. have been in it for a long time. Mm-hmm. Did you ever feel like, oh man, like I needed more time in it? I still I still feel that now, but the one thing I I know for a fact, and I've shown it, is no one's got my mentality. Mm. You get know what I'm saying? And, I, and I've, I've shown it time and time again. <laughs> I know a lot of names get mentioned with my name, but no one's done what I've done. Like, no, at one point, I was <clears throat> I probably still am in Britain. I'm, I've got the biggest name as a light heavyweight. Yeah? Mm. There was no reason why I should have went Russia to fight Kovalev. Um, wait, 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 hold on. We're here now. Yeah, <laughs> let's, we're, go, we're, wait, we're let's go. Wait, wait, let's go. We have to go there, and then now, now again, we have to start. You know, we have to draw the line in the camp. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that. Because I have to be honest. I have to be honest and real. Because yeah, yeah. the main thing we talk about is coming to the ledge, yeah? yeah, mm. yeah. And when we started this pod, I know Boatsy. I know Boatsy and Craig. You know him personally, from, yeah? I know them, man. Yeah, I know them. God. Craig is my guy. Craig and Craig is, Craig's my guy. Let's, I'll say less so with Boatsy because he's more my brother's guy, okay, right? Okay. But Craig, Boatsy, all these, I've seen him guys. And again, church. Okay. Us men like, because a similar story. I fixed my life up late and then... Mm. And that happened, basically. So I've made my... I said, this guy, this guy's getting done. Mm. But then I looked at what you was doing and I said, they're rushing, my man. I'll yeah, be yeah. honest. I, even, I think even... I didn't fall out with Tunde, but and I know he didn't... I was proper, like, was in my... Here. How I felt about it. I was like, raw. I felt you were being rushed. Mm. I, and I wasn't... I was, I was like, they're not going to do this, Boatsy. And I said, if you man me... Because i got to be honest. I said, if you yeah. man me... <laughs> Keep that same energy, bro. Keep it same say, energy. say it with the same vim, bro. Get <laughs> you, man. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me. Hey, Father God, have you got this? Have you got the wide shot just in case he does touch me? Father God, 
since all the spiritual people. <laughs> now nah, I said, I said, what? I said, what? He wins. Yeah, yeah. I said, what? He wins again. Huh? Alina. <laughs> Now I said, "What's he oh, wins?" And uh, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to go that way. Though, I want to go that way still. I want to go that way still. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, "Raw." If you lot fight because he's got the background, mm. he's got, he's done, and and again, the the one thing that I know about both of you, he's cerebral in his mindset as well. Mm. He's someone again in the warm up, same music in the same team. And you know, like, he doesn't talk much in the ring. He's on fire. So there's, I see the, and he's got the background. Mm-hmm. This is why I said what I said. Yeah. No, I hear you, I hear you. Again, me and Buatsi have met up. Be closer to the sorry, sorry. Me and Buatsi have met up, we spoke. Mm-hmm. Um, me personally, I think, you know what? I'm a, I'm, I am I'm read people's energy, mm. like, well, he's get, he's actually annoyed. His career so far has been based off of me. He's actually annoyed. And I, and, I feel sorry for him as well because yeah. he's he's got his own career. Mm. But from his turn pro, it's been you two. It's been Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard. Maybe it's like his TV at the time, TV promoters fought the TV channel. Mm. Every fight he had. Oh yeah, we're that much closer to Anthony see, Yard. Listen. Anthony <laughs> Yard. Anthony Yard. And again, I've seen him. Like we we spoke or whatever. Mm. And now he's getting to that point where he's like, bro, like, all right, cool. Hey yo, I just want to fight. Why you mentioning Anthony? Mm. Why, like, why? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm doing my thing and he's doing his thing. We said we're gonna get. See, thing is, yeah, but you lot need to. And keep... this is the thing, yeah. Well, people been like getting onto me, yeah, because I've been back in. I've been back you for time, innit? Come on, so no, my dog. Come on, bro. Go no, let my him know, dog. Fam. Come on, fam. Yeah. Get me. Come on, bro. You don't get mad. Fam. <laughs> 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 you know what it was? I Come on, bro. You now. wanted to be in there. I wanted no, to be in there. Move, bro. You know, you, you, know, you don't know. You know mob vlogs will be in there. Why is he saying hello now? All right, cool. No, no, no. No, carry on. No, because when you're saying that, like, his name being attached to yours, it's complete facts. My analogy that I use on this pod is that Yard's name is like the plane and his name is like the kite that's attached. Hey, that's and it just goes. No, no right because now, the, no, narrative, the narrative has that's been the, there. That is the narrative because, again, I'm a person... This is when I first started boxing. Mm. I watched sports in the Olympics. All I saw was a London boy. Mm. I was like, come on, man. Mm. Striding up the screen. Come on, bro. Didn't know the brother. Mm. Wanted him to do well. Obviously, I think he turned pro after me. That's right, isn't it? He went, he went, he went, yeah, he turned Gosh. pro after me. When like, did you, when, after me. That makes sense still. Yeah, when did you yeah, 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 boxing, yeah, yeah. I think he turned pro after me because they were talking about if he was going to go for another Olympics or not. Okay. And after he done, he won the bronze. It kind of like, was fluctuating. People were talking about deals or whatever. Yeah. But he was, uh, he was, you know, get, that's getting right, in. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, turned yeah. after yeah, me. Yeah, that's right. Because 2016 Olympics. Yeah, and I think yeah. I was like five or six fights in or something. Mm. And then um, all of a sudden, it's now this guy that's had no, well, this guy ain't been no Olympics. And mm. he's yard, he, like, mm. but I've made, I made a name though. Yeah. On the amateurs, I had what twelve fights, eleven knockouts. People were talking about me in the amateurs. I turned professional after my third fight. Yeah, who is this boy? Mm. I had that's, that's the mentality you, I had. Did you feel the pressure though? Because like when you were coming up, like the excitement was there. Obviously, yeah. you know that the experience isn't deep like that. Yeah. So you're learning on the job in the pro game. Mm. Then it's like people are throwing boatsies at you, and you're like, okay, man's his thing's a lot deeper. Like that might be down the line. And then Kovalev comes up. So now it's like when you're in the middle of that moment of like you're preparing for Kovalev, did you feel like you had the adequate prep- like preparation for what you were going up against? Do you know what it is? This, and again, this is like my mentality here. My mentality is it's going to be what it's going to be. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's just that I've got a certain attitude about me and it might have worked, it might not have worked. Yeah. This is my life. I'm happy with my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, See, it's mad. I, I get that mentality. But it doesn't, I feel like it won't serve in boxing in terms of how we look at boxing. And boxing's very much so, what have you done for me lately, right? Mm. And now when we look at your record, because when we're ranking, we rank the top, we light heavies is our division, like one of my favorite yeah, divisions, yeah, right? Yeah. And we rank the light heavies now, and it's like, but then because of the losses, it's hard to, I can't put you as number one. Travis still got you as number one in all the light heavies. So who you got as number one? Boise. Boise, I have Because he's your dog. No, no, because I've got to ask you this question. Go, go, go. In comparison, yep. Who who has who has bought actually fought 
Has Boise, Craig Richards. Boise hasn't even fought for World Title yet. He hasn't. And that's what's mad. So that's right now, don't season. get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Go ahead. It's mad now. The mm. clock is the clock is been ticking. Mm. So I can't even I'll say it to Boatsy. Yeah? Mm. We don't hold back and say what we really feel. Mm. Right now's the moment to fight. I like the Dan Aziz thing that's coming and then go for because I think Dan Aziz then go for a title. But I then even the declining you, the decline in the Bivol thing, it, it hurts the reputation. So but then thing he done him dirty, man. I say that's Eddie Hearn moving mad. Nah, Eddie nah. Hearn's moving but sour. He, but he did decline. Like them but then why the did he tell table. us, fam? Them men sat at the top table. What do you mean? He said, that's yeah. in the group chat. He said Bivol's next. <laughs> Derek, um, his trainer, um, Virgil Hunter, was just like, what, you trying to get my man killed? Like <laughs> He was moving mad. That, bro, they told us first. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then so with, your, with your situation, I, like the mindset's good. But then it's like the losses, it just kind of just because we do look at it from wins and losses. We do look at it from so when we did, when we break down the top three, we already know that mo you're a problem for a lot of men in the division. I like to see you and Craig fight because I even I don't even know how that's gonna go to be honest. Because Craig's a rate is a thinking type fighter, but then he can bang, but he's not. Li they don't talk. They don't talk about him as the bangers in the division. They say probably it's yourself and Boatsy. In terms of who's really, and is that Batavia fight? When I saw you fight Batavia, yeah, I said, all right, chill. I literally, yeah. I put my hands up. I said, okay, he's different. He's different. But then to rank you as number one, I can't do that just yet. No. I can't, I can't, I can't. I mean, you need to fight. You need to fight Boatsy or you need to fight Craig. Lyndon, he, I don't think, I don't put him in the discussion personally. Why, why, why is it? <sighs> Should I be real? Sorry. As soon as as soon as Frank Warren, as soon as when he lost and Frank Warren tried to interview you and put you in the front and he didn't move you, I said, I, I've seen enough. Remember, I spoke to him. I said, bro, you can't allow. This is your moment. After the win. You just won this fight. And then after, and no one, and when we talk about the rematch, no one looked comfortable about the rematch. They looked like they was trying to go that way. And you look what try Frank wouldn't if Frank could have said fight again right now, right it would have happened. Yeah, you yeah, you man sit down and rest <laughs> for 20 minutes I'm, and I'm run it again. Listen, again, I again I'm sorry, I, I try my best not to talk about the situation no more, yeah. But yeah. Again, we're all human, yeah. Mm. When you're talking about mistakes, mm. me, let me let me land in this moment as well. Mm. I don't regret going to Russia. I don't regret fighting Baturbiev. One thing, it's like I regret it, but I don't. When I fought Lyndon off for the first time, yeah, I had four deaths in my family. Mm -hmm. Not, but no one here will understand what that feels like, but mm -hmm. what, what, what it would take for you to actually go in somewhere and perform, mm -hmm. try and perform. I kept going to the wrong corner. After the bell rang, I kept going towards his corner. There's a time mm -hmm. when I went to a mutual corner when the bells rang, but my head wasn't there, bro. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I actually fought, he thought, like, even if you watch the fight, bro, there was times I was in a gaze. Like, I was just there going, even when I was training, sparring, all that kind of stuff, yeah, I was looking good, but I was overcompensating everyone, laughing at yeah, everyone. I was like, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I was in the gym way more than I should have been because you know what? I don't want to think about what was going on. Yeah. So course. mentally, I shouldn't have been in the ring. That's why you see the second fight come up. Mm. Different. Yardos came out. I yes. came out of Yardos on my back and I said, ah, right, cool. I'm going to beat my man up. It's you get what I'm saying? Hairy. Because this this whole thing of oh, this guy jabbing and rubbing, he's a good boxer. Yeah. That's what I said. Why don't you put him up there? Because he will give a lot of man problem. Mm. He's a good boxer. Mm. But he, I don't personally think he's on, he's on my level. I'm not. No, and it, no, it was, was, it was clear. It, yeah. It, yeah. it was clear. It's not even trying to be bad mind to Lyndon. Again, he's a technical sound boxer. And then we, what what came out in that is everyone was like, bro, like, and it was like the Kovalev, because that was after yeah, Kovalev, because, right? Yeah, it, it was hard and to so watch. he couldn't deal with the jab. Mm. That's, yeah, what the, the, that's the, the narrative. The topic was, can't deal with the jab, while going for you and Tunde. Was mm. that how we, that's Sound a, like, yeah, that yeah. was the energy. Yeah, because so like, you watch the performance and I remember watching it being quite confused, thinking. I can imagine you I, like, bro, bro I was, I, watch I, the line, I, I could not believe line. it. He's fam. going I mad. I was thinking to myself, this is not the guy I know. So it's like, obviously the fight has ended and I'm looking crazy because I'm out there saying, listen, the next time they're gonna get the game plan right, and they're gonna knock man out. I'm looking nuts. Obviously, we had the thing with Lyndon in the at the fight camp, which was nuts. But I remember thinking, once this guy's zoned in, this guy will not be able to exist with him. Obviously, so says so done. Now we know it's the truth. Mm. But it's like, what made you agree to go forward with the fight, knowing that, like how you were really feeling? Before was that because you weren't family. respecting how you were feeling? No, it's not that. It's because, as I said before, if I didn't have something else to focus on, when my career to me is it's everything to your life, isn't it? Mm. If I ain't got something serious to focus on, bro, my head's gone. 
That's the rule of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's the rule. What, like, what am I going to be doing? Like, what, what actually am I going to be doing with myself? Mm. Like, everyone, remember, I'm, I'm one of the only men around my household, around my mum and that. So everyone's grieving. I'm there solid. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone mm. fix up, man. What's Trying to keep it together, like, yeah. Keep it together, bro. I'm there using Keeping myself. the energy in the, in the house, yeah, everyone yeah. laughing, innit? I'm keeping myself as a demonstration saying, look, I'm, I'm going out there performing. Mm. I'm going to gym every day. Why are you so loud and about? What's going on? Mm. And again, my dad's side of the family, they felt it tenfold. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So every time I went to something or I spoke to somebody or whatever, I was it's having, heavy. you know what I'm saying? It was heavy, bro. Mm. But I said to myself, you know, I know it might seem selfish, mm. but for my sanity, I need something to focus on, bro. Yeah. Like, um, when's the next fight, bro? Like, yeah, sign it. Just get in, yeah. I need to start to focus on. When anyone, someone, men- when they- every time someone mentioned it, I got annoyed. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Work condolences. I know what everyone talking about. You know, it's not uh, a Rastaman thing. Yeah. It's not a Rastaman thing when the people say good morning. Mm. I don't really like the phrase good morning no more. Mm. Because it reminds me of, oh, you're morning. I'm sorry, you're morning. Do you no. get what I'm saying? Wow. I like to say rise and shine. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Rastaman say, grand rise and Rastaman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to have the hand yeah, what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> grand rise and to the water. Who that? Good night, good night, you know good night. Like, all jokes aside, bro, it's like, mm. even little things like that, when I, when I hear the word good morning, it's a trigger. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's mad? I relate to you on the thing, because obviously when I lost my, my biological mum, mm. I didn't tell no one at college. See, and that's I didn't a, tell no mistake. one. I didn't tell no one. I just kept it moving. Yeah. And it was like, so when I saw, obviously you can always relate. When people yeah. lose stuff, you, yeah. can, Absolutely. you just connect with them very quickly, right? And it was like, I didn't want anyone because if you said something to me, if you asked me, yo, what's going yeah, on? Yeah. I'm broken. It brings you up. that moment? Mm. Uh, yeah. it's, like, it's like when someone says to you, how are you doing? And he's like, you give them a quick answer, but then they go, no, but how are you really? Yeah, and no, it why, just why? feels <laughs> bad. <laughs> so much like, why, why, why? Yeah. Why? Like, why? Like, I sound good. Like, why, yeah. why, why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why, why? So, like, yeah, so what man. do you regret? Because obviously, it, and it was around the COVID time. And do yeah, you regret yeah. like, because I know... It, all the interviews, a lot of cameras was mm. on you in that mm. moment. Even when, up to now, like, I, I flipped up one interview one time. They shit themselves. Bro. I, said, I said to him, I said, bro, what kind of, what are you going to be asking me? And, like, I was, I was sick and tired of hearing about it. Mm. He started a conversation with that. I said, drop this punch in your face. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I said, like, what, what did I just say? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what did I just say? Like, what dad's, dad's saying don't talk? Bro, listen, you <laughs> see the panic, the, the panic that man would be feeling. <laughs> hey, what's the stretch? <laughs> hey, what's the, what's the limitations no, of the wire? It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was an anger thing because now you're disrespecting me. I've said it to you beforehand. It's not like mm, you just yeah, said it. Yeah. I've said, yeah, don't talk about that, please. please. Yeah. Like, right now, I'm probably in, remember it was, because I think it, when I've done the interview, it was a year later. Okay? Yeah. So he wanted to bring it up. I said, yeah, yeah. don't mention that. But when I heard it, I couldn't believe it. My hands started shaking and I said, I told the man that was quite up. Cut off a camera. I said, don't punch your face. <laughs> do, you know, do you get what I'm saying? And I was being so serious, bro. Hey, where do you look? You wait, 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 wait. When the light heavy says, hey, do you want me to punch you in the face? It's a mad question to answer as well. What, what do you do? Uh, and the thing is, yeah, no, he probably bro. felt like a renegade. Like, you know the true journalism. I'm going to ask the question. No, no. No, no, no. Because when that body shot lands. <laughs> body? <laughs> body shot? Bro. Because I don't know where to look. If, man no, says, listen. if you ask me, do you want me, even that, bro, I'd get the camera ready. Ask me that question, fam. Ask me that question. Same with the same energy, fam. There was a punch in your face. What's that? <laughs> do you want me to look? No, though. <laughs> no, what? No. I said no, though. Why? <laughs> really? I just came to work, man. I just <laughs> came with my little notepad. Hey. No, um so like all right, let's yeah. let's let's go back to the um <laughs> that night in, in Russia. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Empty the tank. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you're going through the gears, right? Round after round. What's what's it like in the corner? Because you obviously you and Tunde, it's the first time kind of at that level. Yeah. You're in there with a, with Kovalev, and he's he is what you thought he was gonna be. Mm. What is that feeling like you're there for the first time at that level, you and Tunde together? You know what I said to you, yeah. Again, <laughs> it's not going off topic, but I had this conversation with my cousin over there, and I said, bro. If I won that fight, yeah. Everything would have left. No. Well, I don't think we'd have left. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being real with you. You just stayed in Russia. I don't think I think I would still be in Russia now. <laughs> no what? joke. If I had won that fight, but listen, I remember getting in the ring, yeah. I looked at the front row, there was about seven men in suits. They were all crossing their legs the exact same way, looking at me. It is 
They all looked like one picture after another, just looking at like this. <laughs> just Everyone's clapping, you know. Yeah. They're like this, staring at me, bro. Not taking their eyes with me. One second. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm cool, saying that, man. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Charlie, your pants. You know what I'm saying? Like, just a little bit like, but then only after the fight, yeah, I'm like to myself, like a year later, I was like, bro, to be honest with you, bro, if I won that fight, I don't think it would have left Russia, you know. How, was a, how was do you arm, get them there was man? Arm were there. Screwed. The man would is is wow. in this. <laughs> how he's enjoying? <laughs> we'll make the we'll make the outro very interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll make it interesting in. and difficult. I came, I came in. Because you came in comfortable. I was comfortable. And even, even like in the fact, I'm a person, yeah. I know you're, you're going to have a different um, like mentality on this, but yeah. if I have a career and I don't do, do it how I want to do it and I'm turning down opportunities, mm. and that what if is living in my head the rest uh, of my life. Mm, Bro, you see that's, that? That's that true. will hurt more than any loss or anything like that. Even with the mm. Baterbia fight, bro. I said, what, three belts? I know this guy's meant to be a monster and he's had 300 and amateur fights, only lost like five, six, seven, European champion, monster. Bring him <laughs> and fight him tomorrow. Bro. You see, yeah. you see what he That's just said there, said, yeah? yeah? When I say to people, yeah, fighters are not normal people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. 100 can't read it as well. You yeah. said, no, 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 let's Bring go. him yeah. to me. Yeah, bring him. I, 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 I would love to fight him. What did, yeah. That's history. What, what did the Kovalev fight do to you mentally afterwards? Because it's like, time, it's your first yeah. professional loss. It's the stoppage. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've not experienced those type of moments in there. Yeah. And you're afterwards, it's like, wh wh when you're in a change room, Fatigue. what's that moment? Oh, listen. Like, so uh, after the fight, first of all, I was just like, well, I've, I've never even taken that kind of punishment. Mm -hmm. not, no sparring, nothing. But well, like, first thing I said to myself, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm upset I lost her. I said, yeah, I'm a dog. Mm -hmm. I've no, always had this I thing belong. in my mind. You get what I'm saying? I'm I a belong. dog. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I've always had this mentality. Even when I... The reason I even started boxing because when I got to that point of like being an entrepreneur, I wanted to become a millionaire and stuff. Yeah, I said, listening to all these like podcasts and listening to like Will Smith talk, Kevin yeah. Hart, and it, all these guys got the same mentality and they all say the same thing, like go for uh, go after what you want, like, mm. whatever. And I said to myself, hold on, so I want to do this boxing thing. What's stopping me? Fear. Yeah, that's the rule. Mm. At the time when I was young, let me drop a bomb. Nah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. For real. I said to myself, look, I'm watching Matt Tyson, fights that had happened already, and I'm nervous for him. Mm. I'm not watching Floyd. Yeah, come on, I'm a Floyd fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching Floyd, and I'm nervous. Nervous on the ring yeah. walk, innit? What? <laughs> ring walk? I'm like, man, like make sure you're sharp, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Like he's your cousin or something. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm nervous. Mm. And then I turn pro, and I'm, I'm, I start boxing, and like, there's no nerves. Because yeah. I'm like, well, it's going to be what it's going to be. And I've got that thing, I've proven to myself, my nerve, my nervous thing was starting. Yeah. Once yeah. I started, I said, "What? I don't care. What were you not saying?" Mm, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I was sparring James Gill when I was a, like a five fight novice in the amateurs. I was sparring James Gill. I sparred Kushi Ban Junior when I had like eight amateur fights, and he was going at it. He yeah, was swinging yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, his dad. I was. I was warming up. No, I wasn't. Sorry, I wasn't warming up. Kushi Ban was warming up, mm. and I was just there putting on my stuff. My head got. And his dad come over. He says, "What are you doing? You haven't warmed up yet." Like, you need to get, you need to be sweating. And that's what I said. I said, no, 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 I'm good. I'm ready. Because my son is going to try and kill you. <laughs> He's going to try and kill you. I'm good, I'm ready. Let's get a question. Now. Wait, wait. So you're telling me, see the kids that same energy. That's the cameras like, are not even hilarious. This is what my I love. He's going to I'm kill you. He's going to try and kill you. He's looking at me like this. He's like, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, you know what I'm about to think of? Are you ready? I know he's Junior was in the background, just straight stoic yeah, face. Yeah, 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 just yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why, <laughs> no lie, you know. I'm not I, I love the that's fact so that it's, it's not for the cameras. It's that's not, his, that's, what he's that's, that's, that's yes, so I funny. I love that, I love he's that, authentic. That's, that's How did the sparring go? It was very, very good. <laughs> it was very, very good. And again, me and that, like, when I see Chris or whatever, like, he said it, he asked me, he was like, yeah. like, he knew I was going to do something. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even, I had eight amateur fans. People, yeah. In the amateurs, people was calling me a ringer. Oh, it was man. actually the thing when we were saying, nah, that That's brother mad. has yeah. had more fights. He's there. Mm. Like, he's had some sort of experience. I said, bro, let's just count it. I didn't even have that much fights on the roadside. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's yeah, your yeah. mindset. What, what's apparent, even as we talk to you today, your mindset is strong. Yeah. You know, even like with what you've dealt with, and he said, right, even even saying Batavia, do you know I'm, do you know how I'm, I wasn't mad. I, I 
I've got to be honest. I was mad when you lost sight in that fight. I said, Brother. what are they doing, bro? Fam, but, even me, yeah. I said, I everyone imagine, knows. Everyone knows what's coming from yeah, like, imagine. I was there like, well, if he believes they can do <laughs> <laughs> I can't justify how they got there. But if they're going, then I'm going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight. No. Bruv. So then even, do you know what? One, there's one thing that, I think there's a moment that when we saw a shift for you, because after there was, there was me, stuff. Ah, yeah, before you land yes. on that, I know where you're going. After Kovalev, the boxing world is calling for Tunde's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's loud. It must have been loud for you, man. You did a video on your YouTube, dropped the trailer and said, listen, I will announce whether or not I continue on this channel tomorrow. Mm. Brother, everyone was like, wait, he's going to do a LeBron James. Bro, he had us in the chokehold. We, we were watching the video back. It's like, what does that what? mean though? Like, is he, and then man just announced his own channel. Fam. <laughs> no, 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 no. The subscribers, the subscribers said, we're coming for this. And he said, same trader. <laughs> no, but then even in that moment though, because I think, there was something that happened. There was something that happened because I know what's uh, unfortunately for you at times is Tunde, Tunde is like, he, yeah. that's like, he's like all my uncles. He's mm. like all my uncles. When I see him, like, he's like, mm -hmm. he's my son. When you see him, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I feel his energy. When he, he knows what he has, right? Mm. So he talks about you braggadocious. Yeah. And obviously in, in Britain, if we're being honest and, and just exciting. here, they don't target. like it. And it he's, we don't that. have a Mayweather over yeah. here that can yeah. do that. It's like, everyone's going to hate that energy. Mm. So I know that it, one is almost like the, the, the arrows or the thing that everyone saw in turn. Mm. Now they put it on you. It's like, you know what? Forget about him. We just want to see Tun's whole empire. That's right. Like mm -hmm. come down. But then I saw this, what was crazy is when he done the interview, I don't, I can't remember who he done the interview with, but he was talking and it was like, it was the presser for the Linden off. He just shifted. The second fight. There was a shift where you was talking. It, yeah. You became the voice. And you, what do you say? There was you the lead voice in the corner, in the, in the, in, the, in the, at the top table. And it's like Tunde, it's almost like Tunde's position changed. Is that a thing where there was a conversation where it was like, I'm going to lead things now or it was no. it a natural No, you know what it is, yeah. Like one thing me and Tunde have never spoken about, yeah is personally, I said, bro, you're a grown ass man. You're gonna do it. Do your thing, do what you wanna do. I'm a grown ass man. I'm gonna do my thing, do what I wanna do. Mm. So much, I'm gonna tell you what to do. And then, so, so, so yeah. and then there come a point where he was being misunderstood in a lot of things he was saying and how he was saying it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. If you know Tunde personally, mm. part of gold. People that know him from mm. South or whatever, they That's real. love Tunde. That's mm. real. But then when, it, when there was a, at one point in time, when there was a camera, the way he would say certain things and the way he mm. would come across, or if someone fires at him or hears something, someone says something. He's coming straight back. Snap him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And he don't really, he don't, he don't really think about, people didn't hear what that guy said, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're watching you and your black hair yeah, yeah, yeah. talking <laughs> and that's all they're judging. Dream it, yeah. believe it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, as, you see it. <laughs> <laughs> over time, he's actually started realizing certain things. He goes, mm. you know what? I can see it. Mm. Like, yeah, I, I, I might seem arrogant, but that's not me. And mm. when I was telling him, I look at a certain conversation, and he, like, he got all emotional. And he was like, and, but you know, that's not me. Mm. Like, that's, that's not how I mean it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Uncle, no. But we had a sit down conversation, and he actually realized certain things of how he was maybe coming across, or he was responding to someone in an angry way or talking a certain type of way. And not only that as well, remember, Tony's African and Nigerian. Oh, so, <laughs> he was enjoying it. You see yeah. how me? I enjoyed, yeah. like, the moment and everything like that. Mm. Tunde was enjoying it to the point of, <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Look, yeah. look what we've done. You know what yeah. we've done? In a bit of a, a braggadocious way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's our style. It's, our, it's, it's, but it's it Nigerians. Be, it can be misconstrued. There was times yeah. when I looked at my, because I don't watch my interviews. I don't watch his interviews. I don't, I don't really watch it. Uh. It's, it's long. When I, I watch the interviews, and I called him, I said, Bob, what is this? Like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, what, what is this? And he was like, what do you mean? And he's like, right, let me watch it back. And he's laughing. I said, but this ain't funny. Mm. Like this ain't the twenty I know, but what is this? Yeah. And then um, he watched it back and he was like, yeah, yeah. This is later on as well. He was like, and you know what? Mm. You're right, you know. But me and him have like, it's like he's my uncle. We have yeah. serious conversations. Yeah, yeah. Go back and forth. There's times when I'm acting up and he would sit down and talk to me, but like, and blah, blah, blah. There's times when he's acting up. And that's why in the last fight, when I was about to fight Paterviv, he said, people don't know the relationship between me and this boy. He's a young man 
but he's my hero. Mm. That was an emotional thing for us because yeah. he, I know exactly what he meant. He meant it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because me and him have a, we have a deeper relationship. But when people are saying about, oh, leave Tunde and do these kind of things, I'm like, number one, you don't know Tunde. He's allowed to make a mistake because he's human. I've made yeah. mistakes in my past. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Surely these people have made mistakes in their past. I want to see how Tunde responds to, to making a mistake. Yeah, and the way he's responding to making a mistake. Look at Tunde. It's, 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 it's incredible. It's Even growth. when it's you're growth. fighting, bro, I feel like he's in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's when you man do the face off, and Tunde is there <laughs> looking at my man as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the beef, bro. bro. He's very bro. on the beef. It's a t- if, I'm telling you that if that guy oh, pushes me, Tunde's flat. Oh, it's beef as well. You ain't doing nothing. Trust me. Hold on. You ain't, you ain't telling. No, you ain't punching <laughs> no one in the face. <laughs> you ain't punching. <laughs> When him and Merman was going at it, oh my you ain't, days. <laughs> you ain't hitting no one in the face. That's what I know. <laughs> I'm from South Wait. London. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, and even like, because new in this game and boxing me, like boxing media, that's what I have to call it now. Yes. When we first stepped in, Tunde was one, our first first know, guest. He's our first guest. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? And Ooh. obviously you're traversing this thing and you don't really understand it, but I never knew the relationship between trainer and... Um, yeah. So yeah. when, even when you, like, when the line in the campaign, you'd like, empty the tank and it was like, but why'd you not do that? Mm. So you come, I'll, I'll be there with my criticism. Mm. And I didn't, I've never understood that relationship. Mm. It's only till later. Get it. When I started to get it and I started to see even, like, my friends fighting, close ones. And I'm like, bro, like, shit, I get it now. Mm. I understand it. It's a deeper relationship. It's like, mm. it's real family mm. and they don't want to see you lose. Mm. So if someone says something negative, I can get why they'll feel some sort of way. But as long as it's coming from a place of real critique, I think that's when it's okay. But. And, with, and with me, like with me and Tony, yeah, this is this is maybe it's a bit of it's it maybe it's not beneficial mm. in some senses to me. But I'm that kind of person, yeah. You see that rise and grind thing, like mm. from the mud, mm. like where mm. I've come from, yeah, to where I'm at now. Sometimes I, look, I just literally, I'm like, oh, thank God. I literally mm-hmm. sit aside sometimes. I'm, I'm looking up and I'm like, thank God. Because Do you know how real that is? It's real because you know the position I was in, mm. bro. All I had was this imagination saying, bro, I, I want like change. There's no change. I'm saying it's all tucked in on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I was here because he was comfy in his own hands. Yeah. 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 Man came to self and that. He said, bro, hold on. I got to the jet, bro. Bro, bro, bro. You don't Body know shot. how much power. Hey, hold Body that body shot. shot. Yeah. Hold that body shot, bro. Yeah. Bro, he said, I said, bro, you don't even know what kind of power that's on that one is. <laughs> you know the playful power, but it's, it's yeah, bruising yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> Get home, can't hug my wife, fam. No, <laughs> man. Man's there pissing blood at 10 o'clock. You're like, wait, how? <laughs> no, but like, no, all just yeah. inside you, like, even like, with the chain Sorry. and stuff like that. Obviously, I could have all these chains. I could be like, mm. what's it, David Haney would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's just that little thing, like, you see, you think that like, it's like my logo because it's like, <clears throat> what I've come from. I remember when I was a young kid, I say to myself, I want to get jewelry. Mm. I want a diamond chain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want a diamond. I want like when I'm watching the rappers and I know like as I got older, I realized a lot of them rented the jewelry. It's mad. <laughs> it's mad. They twanged us differently in the culture. Yeah, though. Yeah, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I want a diamond chain. I want a nice car. I want this and that. Obviously, as I got older, I realized about taxes and yeah, 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 smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so things change up and that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I had this mentality, and Tunde's the same. He had a dream, and Tunde turned down. A lot of things. Tunde, I won't talk about his background unless he wants to talk about it, but and he was doing things. He spoke to us. He spoke to us. Yeah, 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 we know. Yeah, and yeah. he sacrificed at the time. You know that when you're growing up and then there's that, there's that bag in front of you. Yeah. And they're like, you yeah. do that. But then the outcome is it's wild. paid in full. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like when no one's surviving and mm-hmm. man ended up dead and the man coming to your mom's house. And yeah. Like yeah. That's the rule life story of it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The, mm-hmm. the opportunity of Scarface. Like he ended up dead and... Mm. So you got the bag in front of you and it's like, this is the easy way out. When you're driving around nice cars and that's what I grew up seeing as well. Yeah. Guys in my ends, uh, BMs from young. Yeah, what are you man saying? Like, all that, you mm, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then now, these men are saying to me, God. You done your thing God. still. Like, yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a respect for me because they saw how I grew up. Yeah. No one could ever chat rubbish to me because we'll swing. You can bore me, you can do, but I'm not a dickhead. Mm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's a respect for me. Them, them man in the ends like, yes, yes, big man. Hail up and yeah. man See respect. This? There's a mental, there's a strength of mind thing that's shown here through your whole story where it's yeah. like, there's a lot of things that were available and you're like, no, I'm going this way. So it's like, I was going to ask you, like, how do you drown out the noise? 
Because there's been different times when there's a flare up on Anthony Yard's name. Mm. He's got to get rid of Tunde. He's got to get, why, why is he taking this fight now? Da, 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 da. But it's like, through it all, it's always you just, <laughs> it's, I'll just do my thing, innit? <laughs> <laughs> through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. Yeah. yeah. That is, and I'm just like, if I'm consumed here yeah, with, like, I don't read comments. Like, every so often, like, every once in a blue moon, I'll go, because I used to like, I like if one's coming respond to people and that, but because of the field I'm in, mm. sometimes you can't read the order. You can't be available like that. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes these man, because I'm I'm aggressive sometimes, so I'll be like, who's this person? Who is this? Oh, who is no, this? Like, let me search him up and hey, you man. I'm like, I'm no, 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 but you know what I mean? Bro. You know how it gets with like, you. <laughs> them comments can get I've to you. I've had my moments still. I've had my moments still. I'm like, you know what? I'm a professional now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you're still there though. You know, you remember yourself that. Of course. Even I'm a professional, that I'm little fine. part of me is that there. Matt Tass yeah. is still in there. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Tassin yeah. was a nutcase at, at a certain point in time as well. I saw you didn't get no sponsorship. There was a yeah, <laughs> just plain black shorts, you know, this whole career. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm a fighter. So mm. when I'm having these conversations, but I say, look, I hold myself correctly. You know, I can talk and you know, I'm a professional. But then you see when you go to certain place and then you get tried by these, these little idiots. Mm. You know, I'm, still, I'm still there as well. Do you know what made me laugh here yeah, is like obviously the whole Lyndon us us man and chatting to Lyndon thing yeah it was, it was a funny dish, it was mad man. yeah but you know what, when he says he's like, he's not zoned in on social media bro it was after the second fight when man commented on my thing and goes wait I just see this now <laughs> but oh. he goes, <laughs> no he goes, I'm just seeing this now you're a mad man oh, oh. yeah 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 hundred nah. percent saw it later bro no you saw it way later yeah, bro. it's after it's the like, second fight was on the front line no yeah. this is I said bro trap like. Because even how mad it was, yeah, I've seen <laughs> Lyndon, yeah, and obviously he's already been on the show, so not, like, it's not like we've not seen yeah, stuff. Yeah, because we spoke to him after the on first the show, fight. we yeah. said- Just to be like, yeah, yeah obviously, man. that's my guy, but you won, in it? Big up. Like, you had to just- I know, and up. I said the same energy. I said, big man, never let them move you to the side. I, mm. That was my main grab. I said, mm. you're a boxer, you won that, you won that moment, and regardless of what was going on at the time, for yeah. him, it's his win, right? So now we see each other, I feel the banners there. Trav goes over, I said, hey, Lyndon, he still thinks you're gonna lose. Yeah? Conversation starts. And then Trav's in there saying, and no one usually does this. This one I said, that's your dog still. He goes, I think he beats you. Trav does the dramatic pause for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> By knockout. Yeah, straight. straight. That's what's wait, going wait, 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 wait. I'm now looking at Lyndon like, Okay, Trav, that's all oh, right. You really told him how you. Hey, you know what's mad, yeah? You know, you have those moments where it's like an out of body experience. Yeah, because I've said it, yeah. Like, I've said it. And his energy, first of all, when he registered, it was like, hmm. took a breath. And I looked at his hand and I thought to myself, I don't want to be hit by this person <laughs> <laughs> at all. But I thought, I've come too far. I've come too far. Bro. <laughs> and it's the first time we've been invited to Eddie's Garden. It's we're Eddie's camp. Garden. And I'm yeah. thinking, Trav, like, I know that we're bannering him. We're trying to learn this space here, but that's real, though. <laughs> you know what Coogan, I'm saying? Coogan had the camera ready, fam. He said, <laughs> wait, lads. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Coogan, Coogan, got the, Coogan got the camera out. But then again, Lyndon, you know, big up to Lyndon because, yeah. you know what I mean? You lot really did something. It was a big it's moment. Created it was a big moment. It was a big, big moment. And the, the rematch was special. And it's like, now it's like to move forward. What is next for Anthony Yard? Because it's mm. been quiet. Like, and I know it's there. You don't say names. Yeah. You don't, everyone throws names at you and you're very tactful with how you answer these things. You don't feed the, you don't make it personal. Like obviously you man, it's a little, it's weird because like we want you man to fight. Like there's so many great names in a division, but you man are all friends. Yeah, you know what is, I'll be honest with everyone. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm actually friends with Craig. Mm. He's wicked and he's a good Craig, guy. Craig, Craig, Craig's a good guy. Craig, Craig was my stable mate for, for years. Okay, for okay. Years. He, was he was training with me, I saw. Um, Dan Aziz as well. Really like Dan Aziz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. really, really another, another good, good, another good guy. guy. Good guys, good guy, man. Like, and these, like, we're all London boys and we was all in the same gym. You know what I'm saying? Even mm. Uma Sadiq, like Ohara Davis. I remember you and Ohara from the yeah, beginning, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Dan Aziz, Lawrence Akoli, yeah. Um, like all of us, Craig Richards, we all train together. And mm. it's not like a thing where it's like, um, you know, we train. me and Craig used to go, I'd show Craig about Wenties in the first gate, Caribbean <laughs> shop. You know about Wenties, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, bro. It's, 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 <laughs> it's a real really? yard man shop. Where nah, you men are friend friends. Yeah. Yeah. When men start showing you the good restaurants, that's- You've been you know, Blue Jays though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been I'll Blue come Jays. Oh, come on, very essential. <laughs> <laughs> But Wendy's is like a backyard, like you have to go into like their garage. Someone has to know about it to bring you there. Someone has to know about it to take you there. So me and Craig, like we're, we're actually boys. We used to like, if we pay, it has to be M'd up. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me and me actually like mm. getting there scrap. It has to be like an end up and we're both winning before we even get into the ring. Me yeah. and Boatsy have met up, spoke. Are you man cool like that or is it just like on a professional it's, it's thing? It's more of like a, a professional thing. I yeah. want to say we're boys. Um, we're, me and him are definitely going to fight. Mm. Mm. Like, you lot need to fight now, yeah. bro. Like it, That's so, the again, fight that we care about. You know when he sees the, sorry to cut you, but you know when he keeps saying that we've been linked, our careers are this... Yeah. Bro, it's because that's the fight. Yeah. Like, in, agree, in all of the things, that is the fight we all want to see. I want to mm. see. We, I, we, because I can't even, we go in and say, raw, you're both going to, you got this thing where you come forward. Like, there's yeah. times where you say, Smoky. you're going that way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I know Boatsy's is, same energy has to go that way as well. Mm. What happens then? What does that look like? Who do you think is better? Um, who do you think is more skillful? You ain't boy, ain't no, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. He's changed. He's changed a lot under his new under his new coach. Mm. It's 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 like I feel like his bits have been taken away. Feels like okay. a bad marriage. It feels like things have been taken away. Mm. So I, I'll never, bro. Here, mm. I keep it how, very honest. How long has he been with his new coach? It's like two fights. Two now? fights, and oh, it's fights, but right? then it's changing. There, I feel like they take because he's trying to be a bit more slick. He's trying to do things that it's not that is it's not second nature to him. Whereas. It's and it's hard for you because you've changed a little bit because again you tr- you've added someone onto your to your team as well. I'll so I can't. It'll be hard the, to judge. The, I'm not gonna the, lie. The reason for my changes, yeah, and as you, you see when you talk about experience, there's times in the ring where I'm trying new things. Even in the Lyndon Arthur fight, yeah, my me- I wasn't mentally there at the time when I was in the ring. I felt like I was winning. I felt comfortable. Mm. Again, maybe a bit of a gaze. Yeah, when you said that, on were you the, trying no, to? No, no, no. Yeah, it's crazy. Were you trying to silence the people that say you couldn't deal with the jab? No, no, no. It wasn't. This is like it's two separate conversations. So in right. that t- in that moment, yeah, I felt like I was winning quite comfortable. Mm. When I watched it back, I'm a realist. Mm. I said, like, "What the ross am I watching? What I'm am glad I doing that still? You know what I'm saying? I said, "What am I doing? Like, bro, bro I could t- I could rip this guy out at any moment. Mm. When it comes to the total fans, I said, "Cool, I've been twelve rounds now. Yeah, because my thing was this. Look, they were talking about a world title shot next. My last time I was in a twelve round fight was against Cobbler. Yeah, mm. and I got. Extremely tired in the left yeah. for the eleventh round because empty the tank again yeah. the empty the tank thing. Even mm. that where Tony was like, and that was like heat at the moment. I don't even, I don't even know why I said that. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. the first time I've been at that level together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, none of us have it's had true. a moment where it's meant that much. And that round before. eight looked like he was ready to go. So oh, I imagine I was a couple <laughs> punches away from knocking my man out. Yeah, Kovalev. Mm. Do you get Matt. what I'm saying? Like an eighteen fight. Novice brother. Yeah, in that's Russia. why Canelo fought him. You know, yeah, yeah, straight after he saw that he said, oh, "I'm getting. I, I need that. Eight, I want him, that time." He gave him eight weeks. Yeah, and he gave him a rehydration course. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, different topic. But um, my mentality is, yeah, I'm working on things. I want to learn new things. I want to practice and whatever. Yeah, and again, we saw a bit of it in the in the Perturbian fight. You know, I was sticking it on him and you grand, came to grand. win that's what was like, no one's war. done no one's done that with it was he a said war. it himself yeah. 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 he's literally whacked at everyone he's fought easily yeah but again Johnson dropped him but he got up and beat my man up yeah you get what I'm saying he said to me after the fight he goes I said ah oh, we're gonna change me we both got our stitches on I said I said B rematch he went you no <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, you're, you're solid, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. like, he's a respectful He guy. knew what he was. Because yeah. even when he, even in the presser, yeah. I saw him trying to get himself into the thing. Remember when he's he bang, 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 bang the table and stuff? Because he's yeah. like, I know what he's, he knew he was going yeah, up yeah, against, yeah. but he had to get himself into the, yeah. we, this is going to be a fight. This guy's coming for war. Is there like a, like a, a, on a vulnerable place, like just somewhere in a fighter's mind, when you're in that face-to-face moment, and you're up there against a Baturbi of 100% knockout rate, mm. where you say, "Why wow, this guy could hurt me. Nah. No. I don't know why, bro. I can't even explain this. Like, mm. A lot of fighters will have their different, mm. um, like different points on it. Like you, got, um, like a Joe Calzaghi, yeah. he was so nervous before every fight. Mm. And he used to want to pull out the fights in the change. Yeah. But then look at him. You just go out there and great, get it done. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can give you so many names. Bro. I've spoken to these guys and they'll tell me about that. Even Ricky Hatton. Mm. Yeah. Certain these men used to vomit in the change room. Yeah. Me, bro, I got this. I don't, I'm just relaxed and calm. Mm. Maybe because of what I've been through, mm. like how I grew up. The fights what, outside the ring. The fights meant just to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. what I'm doing. It's like the position I'm in. I'm like, bro, like look at the look at the level I've made it to and look where I can go. Wow. I'm still getting better. Yeah. You that's know real. What I'm saying? And there's this whole thing here. Remember, we're in the Floyd Mayer area where everyone's like worried about losing. Mm. And as you said, the, oh, the reason I don't agree with that old thing is 
because you got some fighters who are undefeated or whatever and have done nothing with their career. They mm. didn't make no money. Yeah. Mm. Then you got some fighters like me <laughs> <laughs> that who's made a lot of money. <laughs> give, like, give them their all to the sport. I'm a person, I'm in the gym every day. Yeah. I'm here to entertain people that are paying for tickets. Yeah. And entertain myself. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm a fan of boxing. So when I'm watching a, when you watch a fight, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for chaos. And true. What true. Are you waiting for? 100% chaos. chaos. What are you man waiting for? Chaos. <laughs> chaos. You're waiting for Anyone saying points will is insane. Like yeah. Mac chaos, maximum. You know I want something to go bad. Yo, you're waiting. Yeah, and you want someone to get back up and want to the, the legs. It's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I've got that mentality saying, one of us are going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's it. From the paychecks, right? And everything's happening and we're, we're, we're getting the ring. My man, and it makes sense, my man had three belts. Why would I not fight Beterbi? Am I, am I a wet cloth? That's real. Like, am I actually like, am I, that, am I a wet cloth? Like, this guy's got a belt. He's got a prize. Are we all mm. not trying to be world champions? If I get offered a world title fight, bro, and it makes sense, I'm mm. taking it. Mm. And I've shown that, so no one put my name like. They can't. They can't. We can't. We can't. We can't muddy your name. We can't muddy your name. But then it it is one of those things where I, for me, I'll still stay in the same place. When we see, like again, if it's a, even if it's a domestic fight, because I don't even at domestic level, you lot are not domestic. It's world level still. You lot world level, level. and that's what's great. London. You know, yeah, London level. to the world. world, level, world. 10, bro. All world level. So now there's no. What's the button? Yeah, yeah. Go on. That one. That one. That one. Go on there. Top 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's like, if I see again, because that when we watched Boatsy Craig Richards, that for me, I said, okay, Boatsy now, because there was nothing to me, to be putting up there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we say, and then I do the you and Lyndon, and that was, but then I don't, I never had Lyndon as high up as I yeah. have like someone like Craig, right? Because I've seen Craig in there with <coughs> Bivol. Yeah. And, and he looked good. He, started he could beat it. Yeah, he, he would have beaten if he started earlier. He and that's experience again, you know. By the and fourth round, he started to believe in himself. And you this is what I say: people mm. don't know about. Uh, if you ain't boxed before, it's mad because you got all these guys. You know, got all these amateur experience. All these things. You see, at being at that world level, yeah, mm. you're only in. The, you're only in there for that moment. Mm-hmm. So again, you might you might make a mistake, and, and oh, that's the fight. Mm. Yeah, it's too late now. With Craig, he made a mistake of starting too slow. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? With the um with the with the cover fact for me, my mistake was once I hurt him, because I said to myself, I said, bro, I'm in Russia. I know I ain't getting no point decision win. Like, mm-hmm. I know it. I know mm-hmm. it. I'm a realist. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting no point decision win. Yeah. But there's no way I'm leaving here <laughs> in Russia saying to myself, oh, I gave it a good fight and it went points. And I said, bro, I'm gonna hurt my man at some point. Mm-hmm. And guess what? When I hurt him, he better guard up. <laughs> because I'm swinging, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So maybe yeah. Tunde did use the wrong terminology because I did, we, I had this conversation with Tunde as well. I said, bro, <laughs> whether it's the first round, second round, like, if it happens in the first round, then we've got to know that. <laughs> no, <'cause, laughs> like, you know, if, yeah, said, if I'm still going for it. Round, if it happened in the first round, yeah, I would knock him out. Mm. He's more fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight yeah. rounds in, again, the ring walk, I was there doing Gully Cooper on the ring walk. Yeah, you came in. Your ring walk was crazy. My legs were all like shaking. Nervous. Like, <laughs> I'm doing the skanking it out, like, bro, like, like, bro. But anyway, I said, mm. I hurt him. And I said, yeah, I need to go for this. You, you know what's mad, yeah? Team. It's something you said that let me know that Craig was going to go distance with Watsy. He goes, right now, Craig could take a hit. Yeah, yeah, Craig when you hear power punches say, nah, this brother's he's tough still. Me and Craig used to spar a lot, you know. He's tough. Yeah, me and Craig used to spar a lot, but Craig will tell you about our sparring stories as well. Craig's a realist as well. I don't feel like I don't think he would bullshit anyone. Mm. Craig's held some licks for me, bro. Mm. In the in the spot in the gym. Just ate them. Boom. I come then. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. Like, there was times where Tunde was sparring because we're just swinging it out. It's just unnecessary, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So yeah. wait, when, when Tunde's out and saying you men don't spar. Obviously, but you know what's funny? Go on. You know, Tunde never said that. Tunde, what the conversation was, I don't think I edited or what, but Tunde said, we don't spar hard. Mad. And then it got put out of context. Bro, the and then context. because of how much um, energy it got, yeah? yeah. And this is when I said to Tunde, I said, Bob, you need to allow this thing of trying to warn people and, and get like exposure because it's rubbing people the wrong way. So once once people started saying you don't spar, he was like, yeah, could we not spar then? Like, anyone that knows me don't spar, yeah, yeah, yeah. you haven't followed our careers. Because mm. I was I was sparring James ago as an amateur. Like, there's videos of me in Vegas sparring. I sparred and used to beat you. We done rounds. Mm. Yeah. Like, there's videos, bro. 
of me and Andrew to beat sparring. Like there's pictures of me and what am I? Well, I'm just doing it for fashion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just head guard for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Vegas, bro, and Bill Haney gym and Flair's gym. I'm sparring, man. So what was I doing? <laughs> My what do you call? Last question though, because we're not gonna probably not gonna get to see this fight, obviously because of politics and this that and the other. What fight? Batavia and Bivol. We're not going to get to see that. I, I said that fight's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's what I'm saying. That's but you've seen, crime. you've been in the ring with one. You've seen yeah. the other like up close. You've been, you've watched his fights and stuff. Yeah. If like, it's not, it's never going to happen. Who do you think wins that? I said this before I fought um, Batovia, man. I said, if them two fight, I think the reason I think Batovia will win is because if Bivol can't hurt him, mm. and this is what it is, if Bivol can't hurt him and keep him off here. That's so real. My man's gonna walk, he's gonna eventually break him apart. What's that guy he fought? The other Russian guy? Was he like, I think he's Ukrainian? The Kostik. I can't remember. But that guy, the guy, the guy that yeah. fought um, Stevenson and put him in a. Um, oh, I know the one. Because oh. that guy was good. Why didn't get it up? Hold on. I, it's, it, that's. Over get, my get, head. get the guy's name. Because that, that guy was a serious brother. Alexander Vostik. Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy was the reason that was such a big fight at the time in mm-hmm. that in that world is because that guy was being spoken about as being the best. Okay. Mm. And Batovia manhandled him, bro, walked him down, and he's done it to everyone. He when he fought Brown, mm-hmm. um, Marcus Brown, Brown. Guy, yeah. yeah, bullied. Like everyone he fights, bro, it's like he's makes them look like they can't fight. Like, yeah. He might look a bit awkward and have a weird stance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he wins. Yeah, because there's down. IQ there. There's, there's a lot of IQ there. So I, remember I, I was like, yeah, he's there. I threw the punch and my mum went, hmm? he leaned back. I said, do do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise I heard in my head. <laughs> what I heard, yeah? Do do. I was like, no. <laughs> Listen, I was like, he's there. I dipped it and I came with the right hand. My mum went, do do. And bro, I said, yeah. I remember I hurt him afterwards, like, shortly. And I said, yeah, let me relax. Yeah, like, <laughs> can't get excited. And I'll come in the next time. Let me, let me this. Let me, you know what I'm saying, bro? So he's, he's intelligent. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a um, mm. yeah. rush forward thing. So again, with that, with that Bivol fight, I do really like Bivol. Um, I think he's technically sound as well. I don't think Canelo will ever beat him. Shit on shit. Nah. He's he's never, nice. Canelo said he's not coming back. Canelo said I will move to another team. I will yeah. go. We're not fighting again. Yeah, because of sheer size, like the, the, he's just gone too far. He's gone too far. Um, Bivol is disciplined. Mm. Like, he's not going to go out there and keep and try and fight my man. That his game is going to stay disciplined. Do what he needs to do. Get out. Return fire combination. Keep it long and keep moving. He's a very disciplined fighter. Mm. But he won't. I don't think he'll be able to keep the turbo off for twelve rounds. Mm. That's that's just. Um, could, he keep, wait, hold on, like, could he keep you? Could he keep you off? No, sure. no. I, I, again, this is me being honest. Confidence muscle or whatever. It's a bit closer. Sorry, I've always had confidence in myself. Mm. Um, and I've said it from early in my career. <clears throat> I will give. I, and this was at the time I said it as well. I'll give any light heavyweight in the world a run for their money. Mm. Mm. And, and this is I said this years ago. Any light heavyweight, any world champion. No one's gonna go and have an easy fight with me. Yeah, that's fact. No yeah, way. yeah. So that being said, bro, I, I show <laughs> I put Sankon yeah. in the Serbia. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people saying even I know he's good fighting Smith next. It's a bit shaky for him now because he took a lot of punishment in that fight. I know I took I took a lot as well. I got caught with some big shots or whatever, but yeah. he's never been in a fight like that. He's mm. like, yeah, you know, mm. know what I'm saying? So mm. all the time. You think Kellen Smith could put him in like a pose a real threat? Depends what kind of Smith shows up. If he shows up confident or whatever, but yeah. it's, that, it's when you feel that lick, come back. Yeah. <laughs> it's when you feel yeah. that boom. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? When I felt it, I was, I'm like, let's, let's get it cracking. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. Like, let's swing it out and one of us are going to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My thing was, again, when I started to get a bit fatigued or whatever, I threw a wild up. I was trying to knock him out. Mm. <laughs> you know yeah, I remember that. I said, "Yeah, you're coming in." Slip the jab, and I went for an uppercut, and he done that jitter thing, and said, "Clam!" Bam. Landed on my chin. I said, "Blood fire!" <laughs> I said, "What?" <laughs> I said, that, one, that one was loud still. <laughs> I said, "Yeah." I said, "Ah, right, cool." And I said to my dad, "Went back to the corner." I said, "Hey, what?" Because they didn't answer me in the corner. I right. said, when I was in the corner, I said to um, because I got cut. I've never been cut yeah. before. So James Cook now is doing my cut. So I said, what round is it? He said, don't worry about what round it is. Blah, 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 blah. And they're giving me instructions. So when he dropped me now, and I said, I said, Bob, I'll go back to corner and I said, Bob, I wonder what round it is because I'm I'm trying to swing now. Mm. Like, oh, I'm okay. trying to- You're going to empty the tank now. I'm doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See mm. what happens. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not mm. letting this thing go 12 rounds and then they raise his hand. Yeah. It's gonna, it's, that will upset me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather it, and it has to be a winner. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Africa is? Damn moss. Damn moss. Tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're not tonight. Tonight. Tonight's <laughs> homeboy, you would die. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's not gonna always be my mentality here, yeah, but I'm saying that it's, I'm in a I'm in a fight now, but I know it's very close. Mm. He's the yeah. champion. Yeah. And I'm I'm a believer in you have to take away a belt. Yeah. If you, you want to talk about the Haney and Lomachenko yeah. thing, I don't think Lomachenko took the belts. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why they put, that's why they gave it to Haney. Haney won go. more boxing rounds. Mm. But if it was a fight, yeah. Lomachenko won. But Haney won more rounds in the boxing match. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Take the belt. And then there's that whole thing of now nah, it's our side. But guess what? Guess who still got the belts? Haney. Haney. So yeah. I'm not on being in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it I'm still. I'm swinging yeah, yeah. it out and saying, you know what? How is going to end? So now I can be after, I can be in the change room. That's when I took my sister's shades. I said, yeah, you're coming. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope your fans enjoyed it as well. I'm here for it. Mm. Uh, I'm oh, still man. here in live. You know what do you think about um, AJ Dillian? Oh, I'm excited for that as well. I hope it's another scrap. I will mm. definitely go to that fight. When them lot sound it? like, them lot sound like they've, they've grown and they're not, Childish so they're, they're yeah, not, that's not childish. it. That's they it. They put away childish things, but <laughs> hopefully them look like. I feel like AJ knows now. He's switched his mindset. He wants to be a different type of fighter. Yep. He's gonna be. He's gonna stay focused to that. I can't see them. I can't see exploding the way we want it to. I heard that. I can't see. It. I, honestly, like when he said, "You're not even." He said, "He's not my rival." When he said that today, mm, I that's said, bad okay. still. I said, "All right, all right." Let's that's pack like, up and go. That's home. like the Tottenham Arsenal thing. It's just like them man, yeah, they hate you and then man show up for your beef and that, but it's like, bro, you man are 12, bro. Like it's not yeah. it's not a rivalry like that. <laughs> <laughs> you just hate me. Yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> um, you know what? I would say that we've we've reached, man. And I think Hey, you know, no, no, before we go, uh, before we go though, I've got to bring you up on charges, fam. Bring him up. You know what? I've got to bring I like him up that, on charges. You know? yeah, yeah. This is how friendships stay strong, fam. Nah, because it's <laughs> one of the things, it. yeah. Go on. You stole you stole my move, bro. Uh -oh. Yeah, you stole my move, bro. Well, I, yeah, Look, bro. What? I think I told, I told you that in the gym, but I can't remember. Listen, 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 listen. I got the KO here, yeah? Where is it? Hold on. Ah, uh, there we go. Look, I watch. There we go, watch. Look how man's lined up the KO, yeah? <laughs> oh! Landed that tick. He walked away. You got to do the start walk away. Look at that. Watch this, watch. Same combo. Watch. Same walk away. Bro. <laughs> Stole my whole flow, bro. Uh, you know what happened? Bro? Word for word. That's my dog. Word for word, bro. That's my dog, bro. You know I, I bro, know my dog. You stole my, my dog. <laughs> Come on, bro. I know my dog. Oh, wait, I uh, like that. If I see it, I say, yeah, say nothing. There we go. Got him on freaking <laughs> wax. I stole it. But I just made it I let, I let yeah. you get that. I let yeah, you get yeah, that. Yeah, you and you did it in front of a bigger crowd as well. Yeah, yeah I mean, those 20, there's 20,000 at my one still. You just can't yeah, see them because yeah. it's the... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, a big round of applause. Nah, Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know, um, man. Hey, yeah. bro, look, bro. My dog came up, man. Sat down and showed love you to did? the team. Where's your dog, fam? Uh, you don't know your dog, fam. Uh, I know my dog. <laughs> I know my dog. You know what? Even as we end we this, as we end this. No chicken <laughs> or fries. No, we no. Ain't got no <laughs> chicken <laughs> wings. <laughs> you know what's crazy? He's yeah? there supporting some brats in here, but I used to watch this guy. That's so funny. Bro. Way back when, when he's doing the roller skate thing. You know, he's the, bro, bro, the camera will go down and he's rolling <laughs> through the phone. Say nothing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, I felt so guilty. When we met, <laughs> we met at the um, O2, and then after you said, bro. Bro, imagine you're like that, yeah? And he's when he said no chicken, I goes, oh, shit. That's yeah. so mad. I, I felt the guilt. I stuck, I, stuck it, I stuck it on him first, though. Yeah, you did. I took him in the toilet. I like, robbed him a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm trying to tell you. No, 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 no. Head lucky, though. No, no, no. Everyone knows I'm moving like that. Hey, I want to be in top wave. I want to be in top wave, fam. You can't do that, fam. I ain't going to get the rule, fam. I want to be in, I want to be in, I want to be in power, bro. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to enroll in this top wave thing as well. That'll be live. That's it in the rule. That'll be live. That'll be live. That'll be live. Enroll like it's a college course. No, because of the mindset, yeah, I believe that you'll be there, man. Yeah, Listen. There. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be mad, though. Can you imagine? We've been training all our lives and they just make him the lead role. <laughs> Do you know how angry I'll be on the sidelines? So yeah, he's doing his thing. And bro. we have to teach him. We have to teach him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing his thing, man. That's crazy, though. Oh, my <laughs> Anyway, listen, people, you already know. 
the service, the service was London. Come Shout on. out to you guys. Come on. Again, powering up the thing. Bro, I, I wish you well. Seriously, bro, I wish bro. you well, fam. Amazing. Love, bro. And yeah, man, you look. Till next time, we're out of here. Come on. Peace. Love. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.